In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to schedule a video to your Facebook business page. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Let's head over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to do this. So there's two ways you can schedule your videos on Facebook. So the first one is if from your page, just go down here and you're going to hit photo video and then you're going to upload the video. All right. It kind of wants to walk you through like what you should do, but you can do everything here. So while it's uploading, just start doing what you need to do to put it together. Add in your tags. It works best if you use tags that are already in here. Um, as you can see, like I'm trying to do marketing and like that's not there. And it, you can add another tag, but it's always best if you kind of work with what they've already like they've already done. Okay, so again, this is continuing to upload. You can do your thumbnail. Let's change this out. Now again, I've already made a thumbnail for this video because I already put it up on Facebook. Okay, have my thumbnail. And I'm also going to upload my closed captions. Now, you can't do your closed captions until the file is completely uploaded. And sometimes this can be fast, sometimes this can be slow, but do what you can. Um, some things that you can do along the way if you want to add anything extra, like maybe you did this at a specific place. Maybe you have a person you interviewed that you want to put in here. You want to add like a feeling. Um, if you have partners, you can put that here. If you're working with a product you like, or if you want to like add a messenger button where people can like message you for things. If you also want, while you continue it, you can set up a poll and you can put something in here like, uh, are you using Facebook video in 2020? And you can just hit yes or no. I find that polls are really engaging for um, content. It keeps people paying attention. And if they've made it like to a certain part of the video, you know that it's going to work for you. And I just kind of, my tracking is going to make sure that like I have, if I have an ID or if I want to put any of like the, of the custom labels. Um, this is for the admins as well. Um, we don't have to, we don't have access to the 360 director tools. Don't have to worry about that though. For closed captions, there's two ways to do this. One, you can go in here, identify what your language is so it knows, and you can auto generate your captions. Or you can get the SRT file. Now, I'm going to encourage you to use a tool like rev.com, which is where you can order your graphics for um, all of your videos it will embed them natively into YouTube for you and then it will also give you the file that you can use to download an SRT file which is what you can use to to put into here at the time of me doing this I haven't ordered mine yet so but you can just go hit upload and you have to specifically have an SRT file so then just hit next Next, we have our all of our publishing options. So you can premiere your content. Like it's going to be happening at this specific time. So select at any time that you want to premiere your video, all that kind of stuff. It could be a fun way for you to schedule your content if that's something that you're looking to do. Maybe you have a big announcement to make, or you're starting a series. That's what you would want to use for premiere. You also can just like schedule it like normal, which is what I am going to do. I'm scheduling it to go out on Monday. I like to do my videos three, four or five days after they go live on YouTube. So mine's happen on Monday. I'm going to have this go live 8 a.m. for my time. Now, this is important. Pay attention to this is your time, like what your computer is set to. So if you are like doing stuff like maybe the client or yourself is on East Coast time, be cognitive of this if you have something specific that you're trying to do. Playlists, pretty standard if you have a playlist of what you're trying to do. So maybe we want to make a new playlist and these are going to be content marketing strategies for 2020. Okay. And then just create that playlist and then I can select that playlist and my videos will join that playlist when I'm doing it. Make it available for other pages. Again, this is if you have other partners who you have um, set up a relationship with on how to do a brand partnership. And then also same for moderation. And then donate button. Let's say that you are a 501c3 or a charity or this video is giving money to something. You would put that there as well. Want to definitely check over here on the side. Um, again, videos that are three minute long minimum 
performed the best on Facebook. I filled out the description. I have tags. Fa you know, it's even in HD. Facebook's like, this video is accomplishing everything we want to for maximum success. Let's just get that puppy scheduled. Then you'll get a confirmation pop-up like this. It's going to tell you, okay, you're ready to go. And then what's going to happen is that Facebook is going to process it and you'll get a notification when it is approved. Now, the other way that you can schedule your video is in Creator Studio. So this is where you can upload your video. And I'm going to walk through quite literally the exact same steps that I went through in the other tool. It's just you're doing it through the Creator Studio. Now, if you want to do more with your Facebook page so that it's going to grow and help your business, watch this video here where I'm going to give you some awesome and current tips to help you crush your Facebook business page in 2020 and beyond, hopefully. And until then, I'll see you soon.